Volume 5, Chapter 7. I am really looking forward to this chapter. Chapter 6 was amazing. The ending was beautiful. It was emotional, but beautiful. That means we'll finally have, hopefully, happy, more lighthearted moments between Ruby, Weiss, Yang. Three out of four. We just need Blake now. We're getting a Blake reunion with them, right? <laughs> Soon? Uh, before that happens, we're probably going to be dealing with the whole White Fang going after her family. Oh fuck, I feel like her parents are going to die. Let's not go there, okay? <laughs> Oh, the gang's all back together. Well, mostly. Believe me, I've asked myself the same thing ever since. Yay, happy moments. Oh yeah, that was that was fun. It was amazing. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you did not. Yeah, right in the middle of the party. Oh. Don't you let that lady have it? Of course not. Even if I did really want to. No way. I don't believe it. I miss this. <laughs> it's not a replacement for the real thing. But I'll make sure it makes good use of it. That's amazing. Incredible. <laughs> and it's just as strong? <laughs> sure is. I so <laughs> miss this. Wanna bet? Nora, please. Now's not the time. Oh, yeah, this is the perfect time. I don't know who to root for. I love them both. Uh, uh, but I do want to see if Nora can actually somewhat beat her. Yang's got it. Does that count? Huh? <laughs> I'd probably be like, cool. Oh, I remember that from volume one when they were on the airship and he was gonna puke. Me either. I miss you guys a lot. No. Sure. It's been a long time. We've all grown in our own ways. You really think so? Mm-hmm. Well, think back to when we were all like weaklings. Would you say you ever did anything foolish or embarrassing? Or do you think you are perfect? Gosh, I may have been a little too gun ho from time to time. <laughs> you? I tried to one v one a nevermore on the second day of school. There were nice yeah. food fights, though. That was awesome. Well, that embarrassment, that desire to go back and tell yourself not to be so stupid, that just proves you're not the same person you used to be. You're smarter, better, or kinder, or stronger, and you're not done growing yet. None of us are. Yeah, it turns out Ren gets real deep when he feels like talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. I thought I was pretty great in school. Even at this dance? When you spilled punch all over yourself? And you're like, yeah, especially the <laughs>
Uncle Crow. Oh, I'm sorry we made so much noise. Magic. Sand. It's all true? Mm-hmm. Miss Zhao Long, is this more or less what your mother told you? For the most part, you forgot something. You forgot to tell everyone what you did to Crow and my mother. What is she talking about? Uh, right. Hmm. That's not a secret I thought she would give up so easily. It's Raven we're talking about here. I must trust you a great deal. Hmm. My ability to reincarnate, though a curse, isn't without a few key benefits. Much like the maidens, I too possess a certain magical power. Using this power, I was able to gift the Bronwyn twins the ability to see more, to move freely and be unburdened by their natural bodies. I... well... Gave them the ability to turn into birds. Mm -hmm. Rather ridiculous sounding out loud, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Uncle? You turn them into birds. Alright, now you're just messing with us. No. What else is new? He's telling the truth. We saw it. Many men change right in front of us. And I saw Crow change, sort How of. How would you do something like that? I mean, what is wrong with you? The agony is enough. We made a choice. We wanted this. May I? <laughs> Granting this power to them is no trivial task. And I can assure you it was not done frivolously. I required assistance in gathering information on Salem's plans as well as searching for maidens when their hosts became unclear. Okay, so have you done this with others? Like General Ironwood or Professor Goodwitch? As helpful as that might be, unfortunately it is not that simple. My power is finite, and if I'm being honest, dwindling. The amount that I gifted to Crow and Raven was, all things considered, rather mm. minuscule. You see, centuries ago, sacrificed a great deal of magic to four young women who I hoped would use my gift for good. The maidens. They were the first maidens. Miss Zhao Long, it was never my intention to lie to you, to any of you. There are just some matters that I prefer to play close to the chest. Mm. I believe that's how you phrased it. Everyone has a choice. The Bronwyns chose to accept their power and the responsibilities that came with them. And later, one of them chose to abandon her duties in favor of her own self-interest. Now, all of you have a choice. If anyone wishes to leave, now is the time. No one ain't going no anywhere. shame or disgrace in abstaining. Only in retreat. So we're all staying, right? Very well, then. Okay. If Ruby sticks around, then I will too. If there's one thing I know about her, it's that she somehow always knows the right thing to do. Aww. But, if we're going to help, if we're going to keep risking our lives, no more lies. No more half-truths. Deal? Understood. So, what now? I mean, what can we do? Hmm, that is a difficult question. One that I believe is best answered tomorrow. What do you mean? The road ahead is undoubtedly filled with hardships and peril. However, it's been far too long since we've all been together. Please, take tonight. Enjoy this moment. 
Um, okay. <laughs> Nora, I love you. Oh, fuck. Mercury and Emerald. Is she Did with you? Home? Are they alone or is Cinder with them? Oh, fuck you. I knew some. Wait, who's that with them? Oh. Does it look like he wants to cooperate, boss? <laughs> then make him. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Wait, well, hello? Oh, wow. Okay, that's it. Well. Wasn't it nice of them to end it like that? I can't remember the last time we saw Mercury and Emerald. Wait, it's not true. The last time we saw them was Volume 4 Finale when Emerald was, um... Using her semblance to make Cinder see Ruby so she could kill her. But I think that we haven't seen Mercury and Emerald in, like, action since, like, Volume 3. Hmm. Well, it looks like now Mercury and Emerald are starting to get put in the spotlight more. Honestly, I hope they kill that bandit. Because <laughs> I hate that bandit. He's just annoying. As for Raven, if they're there to kill her, it's not going to be easy. And I had a feeling once they showed up, I was like, oh, is Cinder with them? Oh, yep. Cinder and I think his name is Watts. Arthur or some shit. They're with them. I liked it better when Cinder couldn't talk, but that's just me. Well, that was Ruby, Volume 5, Chapter 7. Overall, it was a good episode. Um, I can understand why... I mean, this episode did feel a little... I mean, it wasn't slow. It was good. It was just... I don't know how to explain it. Kind of like, almost filler-like, but at the same time it wasn't, which I can understand why, because, you know, Ruby, Weiss, and Yang just reunited last, at the end of the last episode, so this episode was kind of like a... A follow-up to it like have a moment to get back to happier times for a minute which was good it was good well thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next time